aiming for a lot of texture. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would try and recreate a viral painting video that's on YouTube with obviously the intention that I'm going to get exactly the same result as what they did in their video. And this was actually a suggestion from one of you guys quite a while ago. I think you might have messaged us on Instagram and asked me to do something similar to this. Unfortunately, I can't remember who it was. I can't remember where it was or what painting video you wanted me to recreate. So I've chosen a different painting video and hopefully it's kind of similar similar to the one that person possibly suggested. I might have made it up too. Someone might not have suggested this. Okay, so the painting I'm going to be trying to recreate is by J. Lee Painting, and it's called How to Draw a Couple Walking in the Rain slash Red Acrylic Painting, and it has 143 million views. That is insane. That is crazy. And in all honesty, I don't understand how it's got 143 million views. It must have hit the algorithm just perfectly well and YouTube's just shown it to basically every person in existence. And also I think it has a lot to do with the thumbnail. It's very ambiguous and not necessarily clickbaity because it is actually in the video, but it makes you a little bit intrigued and you're like, what's the tinfoil ball for? What's the painting gonna look like? Well, we're gonna find out, but you've probably already watched this video if you're one of the 143 million people who have seen it. Okay, let's start off, see what I'm gonna be doing first. I've muted this video as well, just in case the song's copyrighted. Okay, I'm gonna take it in steps. I'm gonna do that top part first, where they just kind of brush the gray and the white together in just quite a haphazard way. It doesn't look like there's any kind of detail or care or anything like that. It's just kind of blending the colors together, which is something I think I can do. One thing I have no idea how they've done is got their paint into perfect teardrop shapes because it's just appears like that before the video even starts. So um, I think that's my first step. I also don't have a grey paint, so I'm gonna have to mix them. I'll try and get a similar grey to what they've got. Okay, I feel like that's about right. Bet you I don't have enough of this paint. So we need one in this top corner, another one in this top corner, one here, and another one there. I have to mix some more bloody paint. There's also no audio in this video. It's just music playing over the top. So this person doesn't kind of explain anything or explain their technique or why they're doing it. So a lot of this stuff, I'm just having to, not necessarily make up, but try to think how Jaylee Painting would think. Okay, a bit more gray. So we need some about halfway up about there. And another one, and a one just at the side of there. Right, that's that step done. And now in amongst all of this, there's white. See, how the hell did they get perfect teardrop shapes? It's impossible. I wonder if they used a stencil or something. And then they have a thinner line of paint going along here. <laughs> how graceful. This is definitely a different way to how I would normally paint. Now we need some green. Now I want a red. Okay, so I take a bigger paintbrush, blend all this top part together, going from left to right to down to left. And then I run the paintbrush right along here. So it's flat. I feel like I've done that first part well. Okay, so the next part, it looks like they're moving on to the green, but they also don't clean their brush. They keep the brush just full of paint, go down into the green, down into the red. And it doesn't matter if a bit of the gray goes in or a bit of a white, it's just very kind of sloppy and messy and textured. And I like that. My greens are completely different green to theirs, I've just realized. Never mind. Okay, I think I did that part right. It's looking a little bit similar to theirs. Now what do you do? You take a smaller paintbrush and you're just brushing down what's going to be kind of like a pathway and you want to keep the white quite white and not mix all the other colours in. Right, okay, get this white blended down. If my painting looks exactly like Jay Lee's painting, I'm going to be very, very pleased with myself because I'm not the best figurative painter and it doesn't look particularly figurative at the moment, but at the end, it looks really nice. It's surprisingly got a lot of detail in it. Yeah, that's what their path looked like a bit. Okay, and now he's taking a bit of tin foil and just patting down the top part, obviously to create lots of texture. I'm assuming you could also use just a bit of paper if you wanted to. I don't think it has to be tin foil. Oh, he goes all the way over 
the entire thing. I wonder if he's used a different bit of tin foil for the bottom part. I don't think he has. Blend, 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 squish, squish, squish. Okay, I've got a foil ball and just start to dry a bit up here. Just aiming for a lot of texture. This is quite fun actually. This is a really nice technique. Okay, I feel like I've done that. So the next step is just a smaller piece of tin foil and just do exactly the same with this white bit. And then use a paintbrush and kind of flick and blend the edges a little bit. Okay, I'll do that first. Okay, I feel like I've done that right. Right, so what's the next step? So we take another paintbrush with black paint and go straight up. That's terrifying. That's a very confident brush stroke. And we're doing little brush strokes off the big one to create a tree. It's quite an unusual one as well because obviously Jay starts with all the paint on the canvas, very thick, and then kind of works into it and stuff. But you must have to be really quick otherwise the paint's gonna start to dry. Like obviously that top corner already dried before I got to it. So I feel like I'm rushing. It's got very much like a speed painting kind of vibe to it, doesn't it? All the way up to the top, oh my God. Ah, oh, that was a quite a confident brush stroke. Well done, me. And you need a smaller brush now. I'm trying to be as accurate as I can with this because people will shout at us if I start making things up. Have I missed any? I think, I think that's an all right tree. Best tree I've ever done, to be fair. Going for smaller trees in the background. Okay. And then in the right hand side, he's doing a bush. Just lots of flicks. Okay, I can do that. You can tell this person's very confident in what they're doing just by the way they're painting. Right, I feel like that looks the same. And then after that, we're taking the tin foil ball again and just dabbing around the tree bases just to give it a bit of, I don't know, like shading and depth and stuff. Oh, and you're adding a bit on the right hand side and on the bottom as well. All right, and you're just doing it all over now. Okay, I feel like mine's, I think mine's looking all right, actually. It's kind of looking exactly like Jay's. I'm very shocked. Oh, I'm well, I'm, uh, to be fair, I'm very impressed with what I've made so far. I really like that. I don't want to do any more to it because I think I'm going to ruin it. Okay, so the next step, Jay makes this little contraption out of Q-tips. So I've got some Q-tips here and it looks as if he's bound it together at the top with an elastic band. Also, I had a look before I started this video and this J guy is the top performing YouTuber in Vietnam. I think that's where he's from. So if you see this video, J, congratulations. Like that's an incredible accomplishment. That wasn't sarcastic either. I actually meant that because he's obviously a very talented creative painter. Okay, so I've got my fun little thing there. I'm gonna take a photo of this painting just in case I ruin it. So he's taken some white paint on the Q-tip and just dotted it around and kind of blending the pathway in a little bit too. Yes, oh, love that. Okay, and then he switched to black for this top part and just kind of just gone for it really. Okay, now we're moving on to red and adding red on top of the black, just dotting it pretty much everywhere. I think mine looks the same-ish. Now what are you doing, Jay? So you're going in with red again on the trees, and just dotting away. Okay, you're putting a lot of red on. Right, I'll do that now. Okay, so lots and lots of red on this tree canopy. Okay, I think that's good. Now you're using your little cotton bud thing and going in with red again. Oh, maybe they're falling leaves. Starting around the tree bases with it. Doing the same on that side. Okay, I can do that. I feel like I need a new one of these. This one's gone a bit shitty. I feel like I've added enough of that. Okay, so he's using his white paintbrush just to kind of stroke some bits out on the path. I think that was just blending it out a little bit. And then a Q-tip just to add some white dots along the edge of the path. Already I can tell that my path hasn't got the perspective that his path does. It doesn't go 
around and narrow. It's just a very straight thing, but that's fine. And then we're using more white paint in the top for the trees. Is this a child? I'm just looking at this person's hand. Is this a child who's doing this painting? It can't be. Because that hand looks really young. If a child's done this and I can't recreate it, I'm going to be... Don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to be happy. Okay, so I'm going to add some more white. I'm going to look into that after I've finished and see if the child's done this or not. For some reason, I thought it was like a guy, but it might be a child. So he just blended the path out a bit more. And then we add some more white paint, just kind of highlighting areas. Right, what do I do now? So I'm taking a paintbrush with some grey paint and creating a triangle just towards the top of the pathway. Now this painting's a little bit more fine, whereas before it's been quite just textured and rough. And then some black paint to create some little people. I feel like their paint has dried at this point and mine hasn't. It looks a little bit wet still. I'm, I'm gonna try it on wet. Jay's people look really good. Paints the lady with a red dress on and then a little bit of a shadow, which looks really good too. His paint mustn't be dry because it can blend that out quite a bit. So it is still wet, that's fine. Okay, I'll try and do that. I think this bit's gonna be the hardest, but I'll give it my best shot. Okay, and then the final step is using a piece of card with a bit of white. I think this is the final step anyway, and just doing some lines down the canvas. It's a very, very bold painting choice because that could have easily ruined the painting. But that's obviously to symbolize the rain falling and he's doing it all over the canvas. And I'm just using an old business card for this. And yes, I look very happy. <laughs> Okay, so this is what Jay's finished painting looks like. And this is what mine looks like. This is my version. I think I've done a pretty decent job. I'm actually quite surprised. I have never painted something like this before. I think the only thing I really struggled with was obviously the people in the shadows and the umbrella. But other than that, I feel like I've captured Jay's original painting. I'm so pleased with myself. I'm actually shocked. And to be fair, that has everything to do with Jay. It has absolutely nothing to do with me because that painting demonstration was so good and so thorough. I'm, I'm proper over the moon with that. I really am. Now, before I finish, I just want to quickly see if this J person is a child or is it a man with very, very young looking hands. J Lee is a paint YouTuber. He paints beautiful world on the canvas and share videos for you and everyone. Okay, so no, I think this is an adult man, which makes me feel a lot better about myself. Whatever hand cream you're using, J Lee, let me know because your hands are so youthful. My hands look about 100 years old, but that, that, that was so much fun. I really enjoyed myself. That painting actually only took us just over an hour to do, which wasn't bad at all. I'm proper chuffed with myself. I really am. Yeah, so let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on my version of Jay Lee's painting. If anyone says it's bad, I'm going to be so mad because that's... It's really good. I don't usually compliment myself very often, but I've done a really good version of Jay's painting. It's not the same and it doesn't look as good, but it's pretty decent. And if you've got any other painting video ideas that you want to see on the channel, then feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments below. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next week for a brand new video.